Hello everybody, this is High Treason. Um, yeah, didn't we already play this? Uh, yeah, we did, but I don't, I'm not happy with uh, the original recording. So those have gone unlisted. If you really want to watch them, ask me, because I haven't taken them down, they're just unlisted now. I don't want them available in the search, because it makes my channel look pretty bad. Um, anyways, uh, this is Let's Play Commander Keen, Episode 1, Marooned on Mars. For a second time, um, that's real weird. Look, we're using completely different hardware to what we did the first time round. That blue border—you probably won't be able to see that actually by the time it gets done. But there's none of it on the left. Ah, let's have a read of the story. This feels kind of good uh, to be doing this again, actually. Billy Blaze, eight-year-old boy genius working diligently in his backyard clubhouse has created an interstellar starship from old soup cans, rubber cement and plastic tubing. While his folks are out on the town and the babysitter has fallen asleep, Billy travels into his backyard workshop, dons his brother's football helmet and transforms into Commander Kane, Defender of Earth. Da -da -da -da. In his ship, the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket, Keen dispenses galactic justice with an iron hand. An iron fist. In this episode, aliens from the planet Vorticon 6 find out about the eight year old genius and plan his destruction. Keen has stolen his father's booze and taken his ship to Mars. He wakes up in the morning with a pounding headache and decides that he should go home. Keen attempts to start his ship, but realises that several parts are missing. Keen isn't sure where they are. Did he just misplace them the previous night and can't remember? Or where they'd stolen? He decided he should probably go and look for them, regardless. On his way out of his ship, he opened the fridge, only to discover the booze is gone too. Damn, says Keen. Those alien bastards drank all my beer. And with that, he sets out to find his ship parts and slaughter some aliens for messing up his ride. Will he make it back before his parents get home? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, yeah, they basically they've stolen stuff off your ship. That's, that's not what the story's supposed to be like. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously. Right, we're going to have to... Oh, that's the wrong control. We're going to have to fiddle with the volume levels on it. I reckon about there is probably good. Uh, man, this does feel quite good, though, to be playing this again. Um, and it makes me think, uh, you know, when I started doing these, my life sucked pretty bad. And I sit there and think it sucks now. It was a lot worse when I first did these, than when I first did this. So, uh, yeah, it's improved drastically since then. And hopefully my skills have a bit too. I mean, all this let's play has been good. It's kept my mind occupied, and it's uh, it's helping me getting good at all these games again. Because basically, I wouldn't be playing them now unless it was for this, really, which is a real shame. But I don't know. I just don't find a reason to do it now. So this gives me a reason. You know, this gives me a great excuse for sitting here wasting my time on the game. You hear in your mind, It is too bad that you cannot read the standard galactic alphabet, human. I can't remember how I did the voices originally. I don't think it's important. We're just, I'm just going to ram them out. On the, I'm not going to go too elaborate. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's 2 a.m. You know, cut me some slack. Uh, right, I'm kind of blind, like I was uh, the first time, but now my memory will probably serve me a little better. There's a lot going on on this channel at the moment, isn't there? It's not really in order or anything. I'm not sure whether I should upload these kind of... Um, I don't know, like, on the same day as something else, seeing as just about everybody watched the original, I think. I don't know, I'm up to like 30 subscribers on this channel now. Uh, I mean, you know, I think I say this quite a bit, but I don't think there is any harm in saying it. No, thanks for subscribing to uh, anybody I haven't acknowledged yet, you know. I do realise these things, but 
I only get it when I actually check my email client now or visit my channel page and that's... I don't do either of those things that often. It, this channel isn't hooked up to the same email address as my other one. So, I don't know, I use a different browser to run this one as well. It makes it easier. So, you know, I don't check that email box too often. You can kill those guys. Oh, I don't have a pogo stick yet, that's a shame, because I want it to be up there. I have to go all the way to the other side of the map again now. Well, we have five minutes already. It's not worth it for a teddy bear. I wanted to get this whole side of Mars completed before that, so... Yeah, let's, let's just leave oh, one teddy bear. is not really worth it. It can just stay there and be lonely. This is neat! Yeah, I, I've forgotten SGA, so... I won't be able to read the signs. I'm not sure whether the Impossible Pogo trick actually works the same in this game, if at all, but I've been doing it. But because of the two button firing, I keep wasting all my ammo. I, had, I did have one quick practice run before I went on this, so that probably shows. I didn't do that last time. It was a little silly of me, I think, probably looking back. I, I wouldn't do that now. You know, now I always have to have a couple of practice runs. I've only had one, and I didn't even complete the game, but that's not a problem, because like I say, I won't be completing it this video, and it it has a save feature, so chance I will just be saving instead. Nonetheless, I can't really... If I try and call a level layout into my mind, I can't see it, but strangely, I seem to be able to remember where to go, so I've obviously remembered it to some extent. My short term memory is not very good. Give me a couple of weeks and I might have might be able to picture it all up in my head, but for the time being it's some weird memory that I don't understand how it works. I'm not a psychiatrist or whatever. I'm certainly uh, certainly think I'm playing better than I was. I'm still not the best at the game, and I never will be, but... And these games aren't as easy as modern platformers, in my opinion. They're a lot more limited, but at the same time, so are you as a player. You don't have loads of cool jump moves and stuff that you can do. I imagine Keen today would probably look like a lot of the Mario games. You know, it'd probably be in 3D. And, uh, you know, probably quite similar to playing a Mario game. In fact, didn't they, uh, they say that's what they planned the sequel to be like? They saw Mario 64 and it was like, that's almost what I had in my mind. I think it's got uh, something like that. Uh, was it Tom Hall or Carmack or Romero? It'll be one of them who said it. Keen was. Tom Hall's idea, right, I think, if I remember correctly. The message echoes in your head. The teleporter in the ice will send you to the dark side of Mars. What's this dark side? Hmm. Where's that coming from? Knock it off. <laughs> ah, now this level. Cool. Um, I can't remember a thing. Hang on. There's no key card in this, is there? I don't think there was. I think that said hi. Okay, let's try something. No, the impossible pogo trick doesn't seem to work in this game. It probably does, and I'm probably just doing it wrong. Uh, I'm wondering if... Uh, bloody hell! I didn't even try to do it, though. I'm just... I don't know what I'm trying to do, actually. Maybe I'm used to Duke Nukem 2. It's a habit I've picked up from that, I think, because uh, you don't usually run out of ammo in that game. I thought there was ammo in this level somewhere. It must have been, we probably just picked it up. 
Ah, that would be good. Yeah, wait. Ooh, a teleport. I wonder if this is the teleport they were talking about. Well, it could be. I tell you what. We're going to do one last level. Just to introduce you to the dark side of Mars. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> dark side. Ah, uh, oh, no, this level's easy as well, so yeah. Apparently the impossible pogo trick does work! Yeah! <laughs> It's time to kick ass, chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Now I'm really... No, no I, I can't do it. Sometimes I can do it reasonably well, I think. I don't think I can ever sound like John St. John because he kicks ass, but... Uh, you know, nonetheless, I think some days I can do it better than other days. It seems to depend how many cigarettes I've had and how sore my throat is. I don't like this bit. <laughs> well, I think we'll leave it there for today. We shall complete the game um, another time. Uh, let me think. Is it F5, wasn't it? Yeah, it was F5. Uh, save it in slot 8 for some reason, I feel like doing. Uh, I'm High Treason, I shall see you later. Well, that looks a bit garbled, doesn't it? <laughs>